Beside me here, we have a triple black Tesla Model X long range. This is fresh off the lot. My customer picked it up about two or three days ago now, and it's here at the shop to get a full new car vehicle prep. Now you guys, if you've been watching this channel for a while, have seen me do quite a few of these on different vehicles. I think it's fun for content to have these, to see how these cars come in, I'll definitely show you imperfections that's on this vehicle, how I fix them in a new car vehicle prep, and then we're gonna be protecting this Tesla Model X. So today we're going through paint correction, polishing, ceramic coating the paint, ceramic coating all of the black plastic trim, coating the wheels, and any final last finishing details. This is gonna be a fun one. Welcome back to another out of spec detailing video here from Clear Detailing in Northern Colorado. Let's jump into it. Now, just about two weeks ago from getting this car, I worked on a brand new 2024 Tesla Model S Plaid, again, in the non-metallic solid black from Tesla. And that car was a true mess. Directly from the dealership or the service center, man, oh man, tons of polishing haze in it, tons of imperfections in the paint. So I'm hoping we're not gonna see quite as much of that on this particular Model X. This was delivered at a different service center here in Colorado. But nonetheless, the whole point of this new car vehicle prep is to really get everything dialed in. This is the way I hope most people can get a new car, but in reality, with dealerships and service centers, cars never come in perfect, and that's why it's here. So going through, we're gonna, of course, be doing a full paint correction. Any sort of minor scratches from either factory defects, transport defects, or washing at the service, service center, we're gonna get all of those removed. We're gonna do a finishing polish on this to remove all the haze and scratches that we put in from our initial compounding stage. And then we're gonna get into coatings on everything. That's the real deal here, is protecting a new car from brand new. So we're gonna be using a five-year warrantied paint coating from Gion, which is called Infinite Base Type 1. That is gonna be used for the paint. On the black plastic trim, we're gonna be using either G-Technic C4 Permanent Trim Restorer or hopefully a new product coming in from Gion, which is their Gion Trim Evo, a new variant. I hope it comes in before this car leaves. We can test it on here and see how that does, but we'll definitely have to see. We're also gonna be removing the wheels to ceramic coat them. A lot of shops out there offer wheel coatings, and I would say 90% of them do not remove the wheels to actually coat the inside of the wheel. The most important part, everybody can clean and coat the outside of the wheel face, but really the hard part's the inside. So once we're in there, we're also going to coat the caliper. We're gonna clean up all the suspension. Roads around Colorado here have been disgusting. We just had a huge March snowstorm. So this thing, even though it's brand spanking new, definitely has some road salt, mag chloride, and all that grime that has been sitting on the roads. So you're gonna follow along this whole process. This is mostly going to be a time-lapse video. So we're gonna break this up into sections. So if there's something like paint correction, polishing, coating that you wanna skip to in this video, you will of course be able to. But let's get this thing prepped, decontaminated, washed, and then we'll get it back in the detail bay and start our initial paint inspection and paint correction. Let's go. the Model X pulled into the detail bay. So this is where I do all of my paint correction in here. And yet again, I've already walked around this car, done my inspection and kind of assessed the imperfections in the paint. And I gotta say, yet again, solid black from Tesla always comes in a little bit of a mess. Now this car has 77 miles on it. It is three days old. It's a 2024 Model X long range yet again. And man, tons of scratches here. So what I wanna show you is basically how new cars are delivered. Now this is not a Tesla only problem. I've worked on 
literally hundreds and hundreds of vehicles in my 10 years of detailing career. And I gotta say, all cars really have issues. Rivians, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Teslas, of course, in this case. And man, oh man, this one's no exception. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you a few little things here with the lights on, then we're gonna turn the lights off and bring out this guy. This is the scan grip. Now, a lot of people criticize me for using this tool. Basically, what this is, is it's a flashlight that mimics the sun. I can walk around the car, so when it's inside here, I can actually move the light around and look for imperfections. You will see all these scratches when the car's outside on a nice sun shiny day, but man, there is quite a bit of stuff going on. So let's just see what we can see from here. First off, deep scratch right here. If I put my hand over here, you can kind of see it in my glove there, really deep scuffing in that area. Here on the hood, we have some really odd marks going on. Almost looked like something got scuffed on here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Some weird, weird marks in this particular area. You can see this little ghosty haze right here. So if I put my scan grip on it, again, mimicking the sun, you can see that little nice imperfection. That would be a sanding mark. So that's a factory defect. Now I've gone around this car, like I said already, I don't see a ton of sanding marks, which is good, but tons of scratches. Now this can traditionally be from either delivery center when they get transported here, they get washed up. This paint is so unbelievably soft and hard to polish and really perfect. If you're using even slightly dirty rags, it makes a mess. Now here, I already texted my customer about this because there's some strange stuff going on on this B-pillar glass. So if I put my light on it, there's some deep scratches in here and up here. And you'll notice there's kind of a number written on here, 133. And I think what happened here is the delivery center came in trying to get some markings off of this, used a dirty towel, and you can see how deep that scratch is. This whole piece of glass needs to get replaced. Glass is really not something you can easily polish deep scratches out of. So that's a little unfortunate, but I hope Tesla will fix that. Now, just walking around here, you see little things like this, little scuff marks. It's not the end of the world, but definitely it's shocking with how expensive these cars are, how they actually come in. And again, I've been doing this for 10 plus years. It's truly unbelievable how cars come in brands bank and new. So I think those are the defects we can see with these lights. The lights in here are actually not meant to show off scratches. These actually help me during the ceramic coating phase so that I can look for high spots, shows dirt very well, but it doesn't necessarily show scratches like the scan grip here does. So you can see just in this area, man, oh man, some deep scratches going on. So let me get the lights turned off and let's really look at how this 77 mile Model X was delivered. So lights off now and let's go around the car and see what's going on here. Again, I really feel this is an important thing for myself to do and you guys to see because I get the comment a lot. Why do new cars need a paint correction? I just don't get it, but here's the reason why. So if I move my flashlight around here, we can actually see one more little sanding mark there. What I want you to look for is basically around that light source, all of those scratches as I move this, that's what we're looking for. And that's what we're gonna be removing. So you can see here on the charge port door, tons of little scratches. This has actually been polished already. So likely at the factory or something like that, I can see this little mark here. Looks like it's kind of a dry spot in the paint. A little odd. As I move down, yeah, bumper is just really, really hammered. You can see all the scratches in there. So again, guys, this is a 77 mile brand new vehicle. Look how deep that scratch is right there. As I move around the back here, tail lights always have some stuff on them. No exception here. Those have definitely been polished as I can see some little haze in there. And then we have areas like this where there was a sticker there. Yeah, just tons. Look at the scratches in this. Actually, the rear hatch here doesn't look terrible except for that big guy. Yikes. So, honestly, this is not uncommon for, again, this is absolutely not uncommon. The last Model S I had, the delivery center tried to come in and polish some of this stuff off because I'm assuming it looked exactly like this. They actually made more of a mess of it because they didn't know what they're doing polishing vehicles like myself. I've been doing this for 10 years. 
a car like this, I'm expecting to spend between 35 and 40 hours to do paint correction, polishing, ceramic coating, dialing in the interior, all the glass, everything. It's a very intensive job to do that. And I can, you know, understand that Tesla doesn't have time to do that, nor do some people actually care, but the people who bring their cars here very much do. We've got another very weird scuff mark here. Yeah, just lots and lots of stuff. There is not a single panel on here. This is really odd here too. You can see some kind of white marks right here, like they were trying to get off some water spots. Those are actually really heavy water spots in there. Wow, okay. Yeah, you can just see every single area on the car. Just scratches all the way down. And here's that other scratch I was showing earlier. Actually, you know what? Somebody tried to polish this. I can see those little tick marks right there. Notice how it's a little bit hazier. Yeah, somebody went in there, tried to fix that already. Wonder if that was either at the factory or, yeah, service center, not exactly sure. Underneath the camera here, definitely some more deeper scratches in that particular area. Here on the hood, let me show you this again. Boom, that is a big old sanding mark there. Definitely some scratches through there. And then this particular area, holy smokes, yikes. Water spots, deep scuffs on there, and then scratches all the way down the hood. Let's check out the front bumper here. Honestly, not terribly bad. A little rub mark right here, as you can see on that edge. Some deeper scratches. Another little dry spot right in that particular area. Wow. It's, you know, again, I've, <laughs> I've been doing this so long, and it still amazes me, like... I have in the back of my head, ah, it's a brand new car, shouldn't be that bad. I mean, this requires so much work to get all of these imperfections out. And some of these, you know, with Tesla and their very, very soft, solid black paint, that's, you know, more, um, it, it makes it worse, obviously, because the paint's so much softer that you really see these defects. That's a weird one there. More weird defects. We've got a little scuff here that it looks like something's gone on. Tons and tons of scratches. Holy smokes. Well, I've definitely got my work cut out for me here. And as you can see, some very weird hazing and ghosting in the paint. Again, the funny thing is, like, you have the lights on in here, and it looks okay. You pull this thing outside, you're going to see all this stuff. Or same with this little light here. Yeah, just everywhere. Look at the trim in this particular area. Scratch to all heck. You can see some fingerprints from my customer there. 77 miles, guys. Wow. Yeah, just like okay. <laughs> the whole door. Oh, yeah. So it's safe to say I've got my work cut out for me here. So what I'm going to be doing on this, again, we're going to go in, do a full paint correction on here, getting all those scratches off, getting the paint as perfect as I can here before we ceramic coat it. it. Makes no sense to lock in all of this imperfections in the paint. So going through the paint correction, then the polish to refine it out to absolute perfection is really the way to go. You guys are gonna watch this whole process. So it's gonna go paint correction, polish. I'm gonna rewash the vehicle after the initial compounding stage. We're gonna coat the wheels, pull them off, do the suspension. It's gonna come back in here, get polished, get an isopropyl alcohol wipe down, then get ceramic coated, coat all of the black plastic trim here around the wheel arches, down the side of the door, dial in the interior, get all the off-gassing off the interior windows. It's a big project, but that's what we're here to do. So let's get rocking.
Let's give you guys an update on the Model X here. So things are going well, but definitely taking a long time. Tesla solid black paint is no joke when it comes to finishing it out. It can be a serious pain in the butt, but look at the reflections here. So this will be our final polish on here. Now, of course, you guys have already seen after compounding, we went rewashed the entire X here. We also ceramic coated the wheels, cleaned up the suspension in there, and now we're back in the detail bay doing the final polish. I wanted to just show you here how insane this paint looks under the scan grip light now. So, as you can see, this is what we're going for. Absolutely zero in the paint. It is truly insane. Now, let me show you a little demonstration over here. Hopefully you can see it. So this is all the polished paint. And then over here, it's slightly hazy, as you can see. That's from our actual compounding stage and then pure mirror. Now, the real issue with solid black paint from Tesla is just how unbelievably soft it is. So instead of actually compounding this vehicle, I actually used a polish and a microfiber cutting pad. And that's been kind of the way to go on this. If you break out kind of a more serious compound on solid black Tesla paint, really hazes it. And then you have a heck of a hard time doing your finishing polish, but this is really a good solution. So you guys are watching me do the first initial time lapse of it. It takes a ton of technique to do this. It's not only about your pads, your machines you're using, and of course the polish you're actually using, but it's really down to the technique. If I start putting too much pressure in it, working the polish too long, or have a too fast or too slow arm speed, it completely changes the results here. But I just gotta say, I'm thrilled with how the reflections look here. It is absolutely insane. Now, one thing you guys may notice here is I don't tape off the plastic trim during the polishing stage. Now, polish typically doesn't harm these areas quite as much as something like a more intensive compound does where it'll turn it bright white. And the other reason is if you're getting tape into your pad during polishing, it's gonna hurt your finish and then it's just an absolute nightmare to deal with. So during polishing stages, I don't tape anything up. But I'd say we're making good progress here. It is just taking forever as pretty much every solid black Tesla does. But man oh man, reflections here looking fantastic. This again is just after a compounding stage. So there's tons of haze in there. It may look great on camera. And this is one thing that I want to point out. Anybody can take photos like this and go, wow, look how perfect the paint is. And then you come back in here and you go, ah, look at all the haze in there as you can see and then back up here perfectly glassed out finish truly a massive difference it's really hard to see on camera maybe right here you can see it boom what a massive difference so going to keep hammering down here you guys are basically going to see me finish polish this then we're going to get into ceramic coating all of the paint all of the plastic trim and do the final last details like cleaning windows up, cleaning door jams up. We're really kind of on the home stretch now, but the polish is a very, very important part here. Anybody can come in here with a buffing pad and some compounder polish and make it look shiny, but we don't just do that. We go for the 99.99% trying to get the paint absolutely dialed in, perfect reflections. Now, of course, we're not taking out any sort of orange peel. But I gotta say, even for Tesla here, this paint looks pretty unbelievable.
And we are done with the Model X. Now I didn't film a ton as far as interior glass cleaning and doing all of the plastic trim on here. I'm gonna have a video coming out talking about the black plastic trim on this with a new product that I tested. That'll be out hopefully soon after this one, but I did not film absolutely everything. So we got everything coated. We got all the door jams cleaned up and man oh man is the X just looking unbelievable here. If you do see this little guy hanging out down here, this is my new boy, Oliver, a nine week old golden retriever taking a little nap while we're finishing up here. So this car had to get delivered today. So I just said, okay, no more filming. We gotta get this done. And man, oh man, does it truly look awesome. So the paint's coated with Gion Infinite Base Type 1. That is a five-year warrantied ceramic coating. We also have a trim coating on here and the wheels have been coated. Those are looking fantastic. Some tire shine on. We got all the wheel arches inside cleaned up. Interior's looking fantastic. I'm gonna have to continue to go around these windows. Every time it drops, it leaves these little spots on the windows. Very common on brand new cars, but before my customer comes to pick it up, just need to quickly hit that, make sure it's looking perfect. It's so strange how they leave those little spots on there. But the X looks amazing now. I'm so thrilled with how it came out. And again, the paint on here just looks absolutely perfect. It is insane. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any questions for me, do let me know in the comment section down below. But I just thought you guys would definitely want to appreciate how nice this darn thing came out. Solid black is absolutely a pain in the butt to deal with as a detailer. But once you get it dialed, man, oh man, is this just look the business. I couldn't be more thrilled with how this turned out. Just looking fantastic. Interior, not much needed inside. Just a quick wipe down, making sure everything's fingerprint, spot free, and everything else like that. Underneath the front trunk in here, went through, ceramic coated all of that black plastic trim. This is how I wish all new cars were delivered. And this thing was in some seriously bad shape as far as the paint went, but completely got it dialed in. Now it's gonna be protected for years and years to come. Thanks so much for watching another out of spec detailing video. We'll see you in the next one soon. And we'll see Oliver a little bit bigger in the next one. Bye-bye.